hello all welcome to learn automotive in this video i'm going to uh, give an explanation on how to read a dtc in a real car all right so this is not about the uds uh, code and this is a obd2 code but there is a more uh, relation between these two that we'll see in the next video that we'll have the next video with the read dtc information of 19 service in unified diagnostic service and in this video yes it's all about reading the dtc in the car get into that See here I am trying to read the DTC, see I have turned on the ignition and I am just trying to accelerate and you know, here I am trying to read the DTC, what happens, let's see what happens when I am trying to read the DTC. So previously it was shown there is a no, no DTC found and now I got the DTC like uh, P0301 and yes this is for the Hyundai car in p0301 and i have two dtcs like p0301 and p0300 all right so what exactly the particular dtc tells so if whenever so even you have you would learn in the diag in the uds protocol whenever you got the dtc that is the diagnostic trouble codes so you have to map the diagnostic trouble code with the data sheet what exactly the fault is right so similarly i'm just trying to take up uh, the da data sheet I'm checking what these two DTC says. So it's a P0300 and P0301. So the first DTC is, it's a, yeah, it's a, a misfire on the cylinder. So in engine we have, there is a misfire occurs. So this is what P0301 is. Uh, so we have four cylinders. So this car is a four cylinder. And uh, here we have misfire occurs in one cylinder. So this is one. And the P0300 uh, is the misfire occurs with the random cylinder. So in random cylinders, it's happening. So these are the two DTCs. So what are the costs? Okay, the cost is secondary, but uh, now why these, um, how we are reading this is, yes, I have the OBD uh, connector, that is OBD2 device that I connected into my car and I have the apps. I have so many apps like Torque or Infocore, like that we have so many, uh, so many apps. So using the app uh, via Bluetooth connection, I have just read uh, using the service. So, you know, OBD2 service, what uh, what are the service to read that also we'll about to discuss. But, uh, uh, you know, on an overview, I just read the service. Uh, I have requested with the service and I read the uh, code. That is what are the DTC found. I have found uh, these two DTC. So can I clear this? No, it, we should not clear. All right. So we have to uh, fix it in the hardware level. Then only we have to clear. And now we can see the, this has been mentioned as a pending DTC. It's not a confirmed DTC. Now, what exactly the uh, difference between pending DTC and the confirmed DTC? Because most of you are come across the word pending DTC and confirmed DTC or historic DTC or active DTC. So all are, you know, these both are uh, more or less same. Pending and uh, historic, then uh, historic is past, pending is yes, again, it's a future. So, but these, these two are uh, not up to the severe level. And confirm DTC and the active DTC, these both are on the severe, the severity level is high. So what exactly these two, that we'll see. See, uh, see as per this criteria, as per this particular application, the, the, the particular uh, uh, explanation has been given, like if there is a pending DTC and on the successful operation of uh, 40 uh, cycles, say for example, I'm turning on the engine, I'm turning off. Again, I'm turning on, I'm turning off. So similarly, if I keep on turn on and turn off for 40 iterations, so 40 times I'm, I'm keep on turning on and turning off. So after the 40th time, if I find the same DTC, then the pending DTC will be converted as a confirmed DTC. All right. So uh, let me try the same. Uh, actually, I have done 30 times, uh, sorry, 40 times I have uh, did uh, on and off. That is a key, key off on I have done. Uh, you know, again, you can correlate everything with the UDS that we'll have in the later part. All right, so I have done the key of on. 40 times I have done, then I'm trying to read the DDC is not found. That means the pending becomes a historic and there is no DDC has been confirmed and the severity level also not there. And remember, if the particular pending DDC is convert is been uh, matured and aged to the confirmed DDC, then, in, then only you'll have the uh, mill lamp. The, the malfunction indic indication lamp will be start to enable that is it will, it will glow so this is all about the reading the dtc and the 
I just I have given very you know short description because I have found only the two DTCs and maybe in future in some other course I'll find and I'll try to read as many DTCs and I'll start to explain and in my next video I'll start, I'll start to give an explanation the complete video all about the read DTCs that is the uh, 19 service of the unified diagnostic services and once you understand that then we'll start to split what these uh, DTC says like what P is it's maybe the power train and 0 3 0 1 and P 0 3 0 0 what exactly this is and what are the types of DTCs exist in the OBD2 all right that will, that will be the second video and the first video will be on re DTC uh, that is a 19 service will be the complete video and try to uh, watch that and yes maybe the video will be for a short term so try to watch on the prior basis and we'll get back to you in the next video and then back check here